My friend, content for what is yours in the spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Content. You content for it. Because it's yours. What is yours is yours. Amen. Hallelujah. What is mine is mine. Amen. What is mine is mine. What is yours is yours. The devil is a liar. Amen. What is yours is yours. Amen. Listen. What is yours is yours. You rise in the power of the Holy Spirit. You contend for what is yours. You know, there are times, like I remember one day, this year somehow, I was praying for one of the child, one of the children, my children, and I noticed that this child, I gave him medicine. It's nothing is changing. I gave him this, nothing is changing. I noticed that if I have to pray until morning, let it be so. But the change must happen in his body. Surely, fever left just like that. I was contenting. In the spirit, I was determined. I will not let that child sleep. I won't sleep until that child is well in the name of the Lord. Surely Jesus touched Peter's mother and the mother was okay. Surely the Bible says the same spirit is inside of me. Hallelujah. You contend for what is yours. Listen, open your ears, your spiritual ears. Listen, my, my brothers, my lovely brothers and my lovely sisters. Contend for what is yours in the spirit. Hallelujah. Content for what is yours. You give yourself over to it. If now there are times you have to pray laying down flat, do that, but content for what is yours. You get tired. You say, I get fed up. I can go on like this. The Bible tells me this and my life is otherwise. No. Hallelujah. The Bible tells me this. Jesus has come for me to give life and have it more abundantly. I look at my life. It's otherwise. No, something must change. Oh, Lord, today, something has to change. From this moment on, something must change. I must contend. If God is true, what is written is the truth. Surely something might need to change in my life. Hallelujah. If this is what we are saying is the truth. And I see it. They say Jesus came to give you life and life to the fullest. I would just want to read a scripture, I think, in... Uh, it's 2 Corinthians 4, verse 6. Rekatala mando rosi kaya la mandele basoto. Rekete kete 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 rakasata. Rekete kete rakata ta ta ta. Rekete 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 te 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 te. In the name of Jesus Christ. So I was praying for God to open us to really understand. Amen. Amen. Say, for it is, for it is the God who commands light to shine out of darkness. He is the one that who is light, Jesus. So if Jesus is in me, I can be in darkness. Make up your mind and cancel any other equation that is talking otherwise. He command what? God is the one that did it. He command light. Who is light? Jesus. To shine away in darkness. I was darkness. Now I'm light. Amen. Amen. Period. I close my mind to that word. Hallelujah. Amen. This is the truth speaking to us. And then it says, Who has shown in our heart to give the light of the knowledge? Sorry. For it is the God who command light to shine out of darkness, who has shown in our heart to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. Who command what? Light to shine in God. Where? In our heart. God did it. I'm born again. What does it mean to be born again? I have Jesus in my heart. Who is Jesus? He's the light of the world. So the light of the world is inside of me. Mm -hmm. What does it make, make me? Light, not darkness. Therefore, I refuse to accept lies that I'm in darkness. Hallelujah. I Listen, listen, listen very well. What do you do? I refuse. Where does that refuse come from? From me. I refuse. Hallelujah. I refuse to be entangled in any yoke of bondages when Christ has declared me free. I'll contend 
for my freedom. Listen, I will do what? I will content. It's mine. At times I don't sleep well. I have to sleep well. It's mine. Amen. It's mine. Peace is mine. I refuse to be anxious. Peace is mine. What do you do? Content for what is yours. You content for what is yours. It's mine. It's mine. Listen. It's mine. Devil, you are a liar. This is mine. This is what God gave me. He's the one that commands light to shine. Me, I was darkness. God commands his light to shine in me. What are you telling me? Get lost. Hallelujah. Amen. My people perish because of what? Lack of knowledge. You are increasing in the knowledge as you are learning these things. Just go practice them. They work. They work all the time. Because that's what the Bible says. This is the word of God. Hallelujah. What did I say? Content. Just like Jacob. And that day, he received a new name. I mean, he received a new name. And his name was Israel. What does it mean? Prince to God. And what was his old name? Was a bad name. I think it means someone, someone that... Hmm? Deceiver, eh? Yeah. And his name changed. Hallelujah. He became prince to God. A deceiver becoming a prince to God. Glory be to God. And the same God we serve today. The same God we call upon today. Surely my life has to change. Amen. Surely my life has to change. If God changes people, surely my life has to change. The Bible says that you take the stony heart and put in the heart of the flesh and give me a heart after him. Surely my life has to change. This is what is written in the word of God. That I may gain strength, anchor to contend for. I know what I'm contending for. Jesus said, I die for you. That I may give you life, life to the fullest. The Bible says that the, the, Jesus is able to save us to the utmost. To the utmost. What's your problem? He's able to do it to the utmost, to the core of all core sin. 